You know, the deep inside, there's, there's a dream. There's something that is calling you. There's a fire that is rising and saying to you, hey, when will you finally do something about this, right? And you may say, well, I don't have any experiences. I don't have any skill. I, I'm nobody. But you know that you can leverage your existing skills, right? You can learn. Actually, when you start something, you start learning. And when you start learning, you start growing. And when you start growing, you start expanding. And when you start expanding, you start knowing more. And when you know more, you have more values to share. And when you share more valuable lessons, knowledge, information, people start respecting you more. So you can earn respect, right? And that's what happens when you actually start following that inner fire. You start following it, that dream. You say no to the noises of society. You say no to the noises of your fears. And you say yes to that inner love, to that inner wisdom, to that wiser part of yourself. A huge transformation is happening for you. If you're following that inner inner guide huge transformation is happening for you and you're living behind your old self can you feel it that this is the time when you're deciding to live behind your old self because you're about to embrace your dreams is that you are you saying no to what is not feeding your dream is that you let me know is that you because i can't hear you let me know because so much so many, so many incredible, incredible things are awaiting you in the future. And they are actually the seeds that you're planting right now. Those are the fruits of your efforts. But you need to get yourself there, right? And if you're saying, I don't have enough experiences, experience, I don't have enough knowledge, I don't have enough skills, well, you can learn everything. That's why you are the potential. You are the gold, right? You are the gold. And gold is the highest potential of metal. So gold has an incredible symbol. In ancient times, it was used for healing. In alchemy, it was also known as the highest potential of matter. That's why if you are visualizing a golden light rising within you, it's, it can start inside of your heart and then allow it to expand through your whole body, you will experience a strong healing energy. If you do it for a long time, you will notice that your body is ch changing, that your body is shifting. And you need to remind yourself that you are the gold, that you are here meant to do big things, you're here meant to, to walk a path of bravery, to embody courage, to say no to fear, to say, well, actually, I'm not afraid of that. Yeah, I, I may sense it, I may be a bit shaky, but I'm not afraid of you. I, I can do things anyway, right? That's how we build, build confidence. Confidence can grow when you're willing to be without it, right? When you say, well, I'm too anxious to talk in front of the people, the only way to overcome that kind of anxiety is to do it anyway and be shaky and just do it, right? Like Nike says, just do it. So you may say, well, but I feel like I'm going to make mistakes. Is that your fear? Like you're, f you're afraid of doing mistakes. Like, you will say the wrong word. Like, how often I use the wrong word. Because my English is not my main language. And sometimes I, I say things wrongly, right? But I'm an artist. I can say I'm making words up, right? So, you can play with everything. Be playful. Be more playful in your life. Because how often you give life to that inner child that is smiling within you asking for attention. Hey, you're constantly just worrying but not paying enough attention of playfulness, right? Curiosity, adventure. Are you balancing your life? That's how to win big. And that's how to move things forward where you belong. What is truly meant for you. Think about this. 
You can, you will make many mistakes, but you can confidently fail forward. Have you ever experienced that? You failed, but you've noticed that you've actually grown, right? You failed, but you've actually learned something new. And at some point in your life, you thought, oh, it was such a failure. Oh, it was a scam. Oh, I've lost money. Oh, I've lost that friend. But then, some time after that, you've noticed that it was a blessing because you've learned something so insightful, something so helpful. You've lost a little money. If you would not get that uh, knowledge, maybe in the future you would lose a lot more, right? So you've learned something truly valuable. In life we do many, many mistakes, often. I did many of them and you did, you did them too. But if you just shift your perspective a little bit, you notice that you can confidently fall forward to where you belong by trying and failing, right? When we fail, we grow. <laughs> when we grow, we expand, right? We learn something new. And that's how we start shifting our reality. We notice that uh, our reality is a byproduct of who we are. And who we are right now is not who we can be, right? We, we need to understand who we can be. Who can I become? What's the greatest version of myself I can become? And then we need to keep it in mind. Well, right now I may be afraid, but in order to become who I can be, I need to do what I am afraid to do. I need to risk a little bit, right? I need to make some risks. I need to make some brave moves. I need to walk in courage, right? The four essentials for good life, coming from ancient Greek philosophy, are wisdom, courage, moderation, and justice. Make sure that you're embodying that, my friend. Make sure that you're embodying that. And then you may say, well, but what if no one will listen to me? What if no one will listen to me? Do you feel like that? Like you want to start that YouTube channel and you may say, well, what if nobody will listen to me? How often I receive this kind of messages, hey, can you help me to make videos? Your videos are doing so well, can you help me make YouTube videos? And I say, just start, just start. There is no other magic than starting and seeking improvement through confident action, right? There is no other way. That's how to open yourself up to creative imagination. Your own heart will guide you to improve your work, but you need to start and you need to start the best way you can. You don't need the best equipment. You don't need the best knowledge. You don't need anything to start. You just need to begin somewhere. Right? And you may say, well, why? What if no one will listen to me? You know, if you stay consistent, you will earn respect. People will notice you. People will actually recognize the value of your efforts. So you can earn respect by being consistent with your growth. You see, it's not so much about how much you're focusing on your work and what you're and and how you're building the craft focus on your growth and you will always have something to share write something valuable focus on your growth and you will always have something valuable to share that path is never easy but it's the most rewarding and you may say i don't know if i can do it i i don't know if uh, if it's possible for me because sometimes we say that right maybe I can do it but you can only always learn how to do it by learning how you will get deeper in touch with how much you're capable of and that is the purpose of your soul to expand your capabilities and abilities of expression of your capabilities right and that's what you're learning so never give up on that Never give up on that journey and you may feel the slower emotions and you may feel, well, it's so hard and I, I don't experience no rewards for my work. Well, you're not working enough. You're not doing enough. You're not sharing enough. 
keep it up and eventually things will find you. You're supported and you need to understand that for the whole time you're supported, but sometimes we need to move alone through the darkness so we can start appreciating light when everybody will start uh, kind of celebrating us so we don't forget who you are. Because once you experience success, it's easy to lose yourself. It's easy to lose yourself because suddenly everybody is appreciating you. And that's when often people get lost in their egos. Like, oh, now I'm big, now I'm great, look at me. But as we're moving alone through the darkness, that's where we are recognizing who we truly are. So we become familiar with ourselves. So we notice what it takes to stay true to ourselves. So when we experience the light, when the lights are turned into us, we know how to stay humble, how to stay grounded. So you need to learn to appreciate all levels of life. In any level, on any level that you are right now, you need to learn to appreciate it because that's how you will experience a breakthrough and win in life. Learn to appreciate. Wherever you are right now, you're there for a reason. It's a preparation for something new, for something bigger. But you need to know that it is a preparation. So appreciate where you are. Find things to be grateful for. And keep raising your energy with gratitude. Keep finding small things. If you can't find anything, go outside and enjoy the movement of nature. And be grateful for it because you are the nature. You are the nature, my friend. And know your worth. Never forget about how abundant you are within your heart. Know your worth. Know how worthy you are. You don't need anyone to say to you that you are enough. You need to know for yourself that you've been born whole. You've been born whole and then conditioning made some holes within you. So now you feel like something is missing. But within you, there's a home of wholeness. And you need to discover it once again. You need to notice it within you, that you're you are actually enough. Because only when you will truly notice and fully understand that you're enough, you will know that you don't need any validation, any approval to do something that you feel that you must do, right? And that will help you to make a unique work, to make an incredible art, to share your message, to start your business, to help people in need, to do whatever you feel driven to do, whatever your inner fire calls you to do. By knowing your worth, knowing that you are already enough. Doesn't matter how many insecurities you may feel, know that you can do it because you are enough, you're worthy of that, you're worthy of that abundance, you're worthy of your goals, you're worthy of your vision, you're worthy of any desire that you have because it is already present within you. If you believe it, it's already real. If you believe in it, you can do it, you can walk towards it, right? It's already there for you, you just need to make it happen. It takes time that something mental materialize. It takes time that matter starts reflecting your mental attitude. But it will start. It will happen. All you need is time. And action. And intention. And gratitude. That's all you need. If you add up some love, some compassion to it, some kindness, you will experience a beautiful life. So start celebrating yourself for already winning because wherever you are right now you're a winner you've been through so much and you're still in touch with your inner fire and that is something truly incredible so my friend i celebrate you i love you for who you are you don't need anything to be enough remind yourself that and you're worthy of anything you're walking towards so I hope you found some value in today's message. I'm sending you lots of love, blessings, and power. 
Thanks to all of you for supporting my art. In our Etsy shop, I draw my passion where you can find prints of my art. You can find some original paintings for sale. You can find some stickers. Inspiring art. Go and check it out. Etsy shop. I draw my passion. The link is also in the description. My friends, till next time, stay beautiful, stay magnificent, stay creative and make the best out of where you are right now. One love.